Okay, so here we are now. The resin here. Put the resin. Is this resin in here? This resin in here. It's going down into the cavity right there. It's flowing from the edge right down into there. It's flowing right into this cavity. It just it goes using gravity, so it's filling into the cavity. So I'm using gravity. Gravity is real. Don't believe those bullshitters. It's, the proof is right there. It flows right down to, to gravity. Due to gravity, just like that. It's flowing right down. There's the proof. Okay. So, that's it. It's filled. Okay. A little more, a little more. That's it. Scrape off the edge. This is the resin. If it drops, it doesn't matter if it drops on the edge. Okay, so now... Let's go just a tab and make sure there's no air bubbles in there. An air bubble will result in a large hole in the part. So you get your part, it has a large cutout area that did not get filled and it looks like, it looks like shit. It looks bad. Your part is, is half missing. It's hard, half there and half missing. So the air bubbles is actually, it's, it's actually important because what you want to do is you fill it in. It has to fill in. Uh-oh. So it needs to fill into these front areas. That's the front of the model. That's the front of the vehicle. There should be no air bubbles in there. The first time I've mod this is the first time I've used this mold here. First time I used mold here. So now that's flowing in there. It should flow in and fill this area here in the front. And then get the air bubbles out if possible. It's cut here, so this is escaping. Air can escape here. I don't know if I see the air bubbles going out. That should be fine, that's fine. Goes right up to the edge. It's not really fully filled. That can make more air can go out of there. That's it. Let's see how it goes. Kind of like sink the the stuff should flow downward and the air rises to the top, giving you the correct model here correct model. And here is the 300ZX, the Nissan 300ZX. So again, it's in here like this. Why is it in here like this? This way the part is best looking at the top here and any imperfections will be at the bottom. Nobody's going to look at the bottom, so the imperfections are at the bottom. The air and the entry, this entry port here, you have to have an entry port, this is the entry port here. So the entry port here is this is an imperfection so it's at the bottom you don't want that on top it's going to damage your model this is giving you a nice 
proper looking model here. It's a Nissan through here, ZX. Generation 1, Generation 2, Generation 3. I think it's Generation 3. Oh, there was another generation. That's the, that's the current generation. Generation 4, Nissan 300Z. And so this is considered Nissan 300ZX. This was before that. This was 1990 to 1996. 1990 to 96. Two door. There's the door pillar right there. 1990 to 1996. This is this one here. And this is convertible. It's basically Jaguar convertible or Saab, it makes the same kind of thing. It's kind of a Saab convertible. Two door has the top that opens and closes. This is this one just in there like that. It's just like that. That's it. So put this away to dry. Maybe a little more of the entry hole at the bottom. I think that's it. So put this away to dry. We've got two drying here. One and two. Dry. 24 hours. That's a long time. It's not just going to be done right away. 24 hours. 24 hours, it, that's a long time. This is going to be a long time here because if you come back in 10 hours and open it, the part is going to be all, it's not going to be dry. It's not going to be dry, so... You need 24 hours, this is going to be dry. 24 hours. This one and this one. In 24 hours, there will be a part, and you can be a part ready here.